the dual clutch transmission on your 2018 plus Honda Goldwing is an amazing piece of technology. However, from time to time, you might need to reinitialize this DCT transmission just to make sure it's shifting properly. Today, we're going to borrow one of the videos from my 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance series to show you how to reinitialize the dual clutch transmission. You may be wondering when or even if it is necessary to initialize the DCT transmission. Well, if your motorcycle is shifting erratically, this is a technique you can try. Now, initializing the DCT basically instructs the onboard computer to relearn how to shift. If you've switched the type of engine oil you use, like going from regular oil to synthetic or back the other way, it might be a good idea to run this procedure. Running this initialization procedure does not harm the motorcycle, so you can do this as often as you feel necessary. This is a simple procedure and it only takes a few minutes. So let's get started. Your Goldwing must be at full operating temperature to perform this procedure. If you look at the temperature gauge on the dash, you should have at least three bars showing. You can start the engine in your garage and let it warm up to temperature or go for a short ride. It's very important that your motorcycle be at full operating temperature. If you're doing this on the center stand, when the engine is running, you'll notice the rear wheel will be spinning, even if the bike's in neutral. So you want to make sure you stop that rear wheel by fully engaging the parking brake. You can also do this procedure with the motorcycle off of the center stand and you sitting on the bike with it upright. Just make sure the rear wheel is not moving. Once the engine is at operating temperature, turn off the motorcycle. In this step, we're going to turn on the ignition while simultaneously holding down the D switch on the right hand control. Now you want to continue to hold the D switch in even after you've turned on the ignition. In a few seconds, you'll notice the mill lamp will illuminate on the dash. You want to wait until that light goes out before you release the D switch. The next step will be to press the drive and neutral switch in a specific order. This will instruct the computer to reinitialize the transmission. The correct sequence is drive, drive, neutral, drive, neutral. After you've entered that code, start the motorcycle and let it idle. Don't touch the throttle from this point forward. Now if you turn your attention to the dash, you'll see an emblem flashing next to the D emblem. This should be flashing about every two seconds. Now for a few moments you may hear some noises in the transmission. That's it shifting through the various gears and reprogramming itself and it's perfectly normal. Now you just want to let this initialization procedure run as long as it takes. Now I'm doing this one in real time so you can kind of see how long it took on my transmission. The process is complete when you see the neutral indicator and tour mode show up on the dash. When the neutral and tour indicators are on the dash, the process is complete. You can now turn off your Goldwing. Now there is one common error that can occasionally occur. If you notice this little icon on the dash flashing too rapidly, it should flash about every two seconds. But if it starts flashing rapidly, like it is right now, about one every second, that's usually an indication that your rear wheel is spinning, that it's not still. So make sure you secure the parking brake or take the bike off the center stand and Hold the bike upright while you do this procedure and make sure you keep the motorcycle immobilized. Now let's restart the Goldwing and make sure everything's working. If you see the neutral light and the tour mode indicator on the dash, you're good to go.
If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out our 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos at cruisemansgarage.com.